Team Mustard is sleeping on the job. <laughs> Team Mustard. Mustard. Oh, Bailey. Oh. Alright, so I'm using a wrench with a half inch socket to take out all of the D-rings that look like this on the van. Team Mustard at it again. Got all the D-rings. So we're trying to find something small enough to get these out. So you kind of just push to get this all and then you can pry it out. And now you're left with these little bolts. You can get this one. Bailey, you just want to help. And then, yeah, look, see, it's a screw, a little nut screw, or tap and screw with the washer on the end of it. So we got all the nuts off. One, two, three, four. There's two external clips, and then it feels like there's one clip here and maybe one over there somewhere. So I'm going at it with this little, I don't know, pin leverage tool thing. Nice. And we're going to save that so that we can use it in our actual van once we're done with the floor. Really, what is that? There it is. And there's what's under, so we got some cleaning to do. We just pulled out all of the caps from here, so we should be able to just pull this out now. And of course, Bailey is supervising. So I think now that we got those out, we should be able to just pull up the rest of the floor. Yeah, is hard at work scrubbing. Yep. Any techniques here? You got a bucket? Yeah, get a bucket. <laughs> We're just doing a little water and soap and put your back into it. <laughs> a little elbow grease action? A little elbow grease. Right. Leon is still hard at work. Oh, look at that. Look, it's brand new. Let's see what Leon is up to. What you doing, boss? Scrubbing off. Little rust spots mm. like that. We're gonna have a nice clean floor as if it's brand new. And then we're gonna paint over it. Yep, that's the plan. Lots of scrubby scrubs. Lots of scrubs. We used this to clean off some of the like surface rust and things that were on the floor. So now it's nice and clean. And we're gonna now paint it with this primer that is supposedly mold and mildew resistant. So hopefully this helps give us a nice protected floor so we painted the floor so far Leon is finishing off the back half we did this door stop cuz why not and we'll probably go at it again with the second layer right Missy yeah. nicely painted to never see ever <laughs> And so while we got the camera out, we could look at little Bailey. We got Van Gogh in here. Still going. We're going to be working with this kill mat that we're going to be using for sound deadening. So I'm just going to cut this into strips. That way we can put it along our ceiling, walls, and floors. I'm using a piece of just like scrap wood as my guide for a semi-straight line doesn't need to be perfect because so we're just going to be placing it throughout the van and then uh, using this to cut through the kill mat and just kind of breaks apart like that. Alright, so we're going to start getting some of our kill mat strips up on the wall stand. 
depending on if you are watching different videos or blogs some people say to cover 20% with kill mat some say to do 30% 25% so we've just gone around and started covering different panels um, we are going to try to cover 100% of the wheel well I have a few more areas to patch up there and then with what whatever kill mat we have left I'll go around and add more kill mat to panels um, we'll also add some to the floor in a bit and then make sure that more of our um, ceiling panels have come out as well. So it's going, going well, making progress. But now we're doing the floor. I'm trying to get skinny strips to go inside of the grooves. Your little guys, nice. And now we're just rolling them out with this. Happy roll. Good morning! Good morning! And today, what are we working on? Today we're doing subfloor. Alright, let's do it! It's time to crunch. It's time to crunch. Presenting... Princess... Bailey! Isn't that your swivel seat? Do you like that? Oh, does that smell good? <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye. We especially love the weekends because we're able to get so much more done compared to during the week so we really try to save a lot of our big projects and knock a lot of things out on our weekends. Do you want to fight? Let's do it. We're going to summarize what we're doing for our subfloor. It's a highly debated topic so you'll probably be researching around and hearing different things. I don't know if there's necessarily a right way but this is what we're doing and hopefully it's helpful for you. <laughs> so we're going to do mini cell in the ridges of the, the van floor. Um, that's one of those things where people aren't sure if they should fill the grooves or not. Um, you know, on one side it provides circulation underneath your flooring if you don't have anything there. But then on the other side, if you do put mini cell there, it should stop some of the condensation that occurs between your metal and the cold atmosphere. Um, so we just decided to keep the mini cell um, and fill the grooves and then on top of the mini cell we're going to do our foam board and then uh, that's one inch has a R5 value so we should get some pretty good insulation from that and then we'll put on some plywood cut to shape. Yep and the plywood will be there to help us anchor in things like our cabinets and our bed uh, once we start building that out. <laughs> Uh, we tried to use a razor blade <laughs> on that side, and if you get a close-up, uh, that didn't work out so well. So we're resorting to some scissors, and I think this is actually going to be easier to just draw a line with Sharpie and then go through and cut. This is going to be super tedious. <laughs> At least we have a nice pair of scissors when you're not using, like, arts and crafts scissors. Yeah, we have some pretty bad scissors inside, so this is a, it's like a tool. But at least this is a nice clean cut. Yeah. And it's a good forearm, work, forearm workout. Yeah. Aaron's placing in our factory floor mat. Um, so we're planning on using it as a template for our plywood that we'll cut out for our subfloor. So we're gonna see how close this factory floor is to the template that we want. It seems like a pretty good base template to follow. So I think the wheels are one area we need to watch for and then um, the other area that we'll want to extend our plywood a bit is um, these edges around here. We'll measure that out. So insulation is finally done and we can all go home now. <laughs> Please sponsor us. <laughs> We're going to place our factory cargo mat on top of this and trace that out. And we figured we'd trace it onto the foam because it'll be easier than trying to manipulate a bunch of plywood. Um, and once this is all perfectly set and shaped for our van, then we'll trace that shape onto our plywood and go from there. Nailed it. It's bright. Wakey wakey. Ugh. 
So I've got our template traced out. And now I'm just going to roughly cut my lines just to make it a little easier to work with. I tried using the knife, but then just decided to go with the jigsaw, even though it's creating a little bit of mess. But we got the vacuum ready. Got the first piece in. Still need to trim the back. I'll probably just grab a sharpie and follow the contour from underneath. This little dude was right on my cut line. Be free, little dude. Be free. We're about two thirds done, almost there. Um, I'm just doing final measurements to finish this last section, and then we'll go cut them all out. Snip, 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 snip. Swear, it's getting sore. <laughs> Well, we're almost there. Okay, let's go put these babies in. We're almost there. All right, so I think we're gonna call it a day. Bailey's tired. She's like, get me out of here. <laughs> um, but we pretty much spent all day cutting the mini cell uh, in fits in between all of these so it's pretty tedious tasks it wasn't hard but there's just a lot of little pieces that add up so spent pretty much all day cutting that and then uh, Aaron also cut out our uh, foam board foam. so we have a template for that and then we'll use that tomorrow to cut the plywood so got a lot of work and then we got all glue it all together that's gonna be back breaking too yeah so we better get a good night's sleep yeah but we're getting there one step closer Toodaloo. Good morning, we're back at it. And today uh, we're gonna focus on starting out with this mini cell. So we have a bunch of pieces cut out here and we're going to take them all out and place them down here on this mat. And we'll try to keep them in order so that it makes it easy when we put it back in. We'll do a nice clean sweep in there and then uh, we're going to use 3M90 to spray and glue that in. And then uh, we'll take all the pieces and place them back in order in the van. So hopefully it goes according to plan, but you never know. So we'll see. as Liana mentioned earlier. We're gonna start in sections just to make it easy and then um, by the end of this we should have a fully mini-celled van. Cheers. Shaky shaky. This is back break. Do you have any thoughts? Anything you want to tell the people? I don't know, probably get proper gloves. My kitchen gloves for handling food is definitely not ideal for this, but it works. for that last piece to the puzzle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Final corner. Probably lost 200 brain cells. <laughs> at least. Maybe wear a mask. Ta -da! Yay, final corner's in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anything you want to say? No. <laughs> I don't know. All right, mini cell is in. It's officially glued. 
go to work to this one. Very tedious. I was a great assistant, right? But it actually went by pretty fast compared to cutting. Cutting and measuring is mm -hmm. way more difficult than just I don't know, spraying some stuff and pushing it down. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's how we did it. Yay! So we just kind of laid up our foam board. So our plan is to have uh, a galley with fresh water and a sink. And then on the other side, the driver's side, we want to have the shower. Um, so with our foam board down, I was trying to just, I don't know, quickly locate a place where I could run our two hot and cold water lines across the van. So we got our rigid foam board on top of our plywood. We're going to trace it out um, in an effort to save as much wood as possible. I've lined up some of our straight edges with the straight edges of the wood. Um, and then I've also tried to stagger our foam board and our um, pieces of plywood so that the edges are not directly meeting up with each other. And that's going to help us adhere the piece of wood to the foam board and also help reduce any sort of unevenness between the panels. So what I'm gonna do now is just trace it out. Bailey's gonna trace it out. You can do it. Beam. Beam. Oh, oh no. We got a dog on the move. She's coming for you. Stinger. We got a surprise. Hi, sweetie. Whoa, that's a big shake. You want to get in on the action? Are you stuck? No. <laughs> no. No. You're so grumpy. Even though you're wagging your tail. Helps to have a good drafting pencil. Nice fine point tip. Test fit our first piece in the van. First piece looks pretty good, yeah. Nice. Ta da! Ta -da. Piece number one, done. Done. So here's what I was talking about about staggering your wood edge from your foam board edge. So our wood edge kind of ends up being, what is this, maybe four inches after our foam board edge. And so this is done just in case, you know, the wood or something starts warping and it doesn't just immediately pull up the foam board with it, it's still glued to the adjacent foam board. So that should help keep everything nice and level. Are you being a good girl just waiting right here? That's very nice. You enjoying the sunspot. Yeah, that's very nice. All right, we got piece number three. That is the back piece. I'm gonna do a test fit and see if we're good or if we need to cut more. Look at that! Look at that! That looks pretty good. Okay, and then we're just gonna test the middle piece now. Okay, where did I put it? Over this way. Over here. <laughs> all 
All right, we're wrapping up day two of this three-day weekend, and we made some good progress today. We got all of our mini cell um, glued in, and then Aaron did a bunch of cutting today. Yeah, so I cut out the plywood, and it all fits pretty nicely. Some adjustments need to be made, but it's looking good. Yep, looks good, and after a few more little cuts tomorrow, we should be able to get that all glued in and hopefully have our subfloor. We'll still have to cover the edges and things like that, but we're getting close. It's starting to feel real. Yeah, it smells good in here too. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. We're back at it again. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna work on kind of tracing out a little channel for getting our PEX tubing across from the driver's side to the passenger side. So I got my lines traced here. It's not super clear to you probably where this is going, but basically I got my two channels. Here's kind of one area that I'm cutting out, and here's another. And obviously this will go all the way down the length. Make sure my blade's in there. And then I'll do that on the other side. And I'll just keep doing that until I can dig it out. So we got the little channels in for our PEX tubing. Uh, it took a while to do. I basically just ended up like having to like scrape it out, created a huge mess. Um, but that looks good. Um, I'm basically going to have to cut out a little notch in our piece of wood. Right now it just goes exactly to these pillars. Um, but we're going to notch out the wood a little bit like this just so we have access to add fittings there. Hey, Bumbo. In preparation for gluing our foam board down to our mini cell and van floor, we're just going to give it a good blow. And I'm going to blow it that way. Okay, we're going to move. Bye bye. <laughs> we're ready to glue in our XPS foam board. And so for adhering the foam board to the mini cell and van floor. We're just going to be using silicone. I tested it on a piece of XPS and the mini cell and it seemed to hold together pretty good. Um, some things like 3M77 or 90, uh, if you do spray it onto your foam board you will see that it dissolves it. Um, so it's important that you check the materials that you're using and the adhesives to make sure that they're all compatible or at least won't break something or dissolve something. So that's our plan. Let's do it. Let's do it. Time to crunch. <laughs> just uh, made a last minute decision because right before we're gluing things down, you just second guess your life, you know? So uh, we <laughs> our remember entire lives. <laughs> our whole life. Um, so we remember seeing in one video, someone recommended taping the edges of the foam board because they can get a little squeaky and during our test fitting we did notice like some squeaking we're gonna try to reduce that by taping the edges got a little bit of duct yeah. tape we're just gonna this is about two inches wide so about half of the width of the roll should go around the edges pretty nicely yeah so we'll see if this works it doesn't hurt yeah doesn't hurt, so we're gonna try it. YOLO. <laughs> Woo! This is gonna be a long one. We underestimated our adhesive usage. Or maybe we were applying too much, who knows. But in short, we ran out of our silicone. Mid board. Yeah, so we were <laughs> scrambling around looking for anything else we had at home. And I found Loctite Power Grab Ultimate. So I looked it up, it said it works for, with SPS, according to the website. 
mini cell, it's probably fine. I feel like we'll find out. But you tested it? No. <laughs> Do you want to? Mm. Alright, so we're back from our test? Yep. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> Looks fine, okay. Forearm workout continues. As you always say, we'll just hope for the best. <laughs> wrap up for today because it's getting darker and cold uh, but we had a productive day we got our uh, XPS board and our plywood all fit exactly right so he did a lot of little adjustments today to each of our pieces yeah, a lot a lot and a lot yeah so we learned everything takes way longer than you think it will we keep learning that over and over again on each project we start so this took us a bit longer than we thought uh, but we did get our XPS foam board all glued in so mm -hmm. that is in there and we're weighing it down with uh, we put our plywood down to protect it and then um, we have a bunch of stuff weighing it down in there so that'll stay there overnight and then we need to go get more materials yeah yeah we ended up using about three tubes of the adhesive um, so about one per panel um, that might be more than necessary but we feel like we might as well just use what we can or use what we have and go for it so we got to pick up more stuff for tomorrow or whenever um, we, we have one tube of PL 300 that we're going to use for the plywood to the rigid foam um, so now that we know we need three we'll probably have to pick up a couple more so yeah so I'll do that at some point this week mm -hmm. really close almost there getting closer all right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, so it's two days later. You just got home from work. Just got home from work. We have to get this done, or we want to get work done during this work week because it's supposed to rain this weekend. So we're trying to use any daylight we have after work. So. What are we doing? So it's time to glue our plywood to our foam board, but first we got to take off all of these bricks. Get to it, Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, you're not very helpful. Billy. Hi, sweet girl. I did this off camera, but I added some 90 degree uh, elbows on the ends. So we're using the cinch or clamp? No, I think they're crimp rings with our fittings. And there's our UPS driver. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Brought our S bar gasoline heater. So here's our cold line. Our hot line will go next to it. It's curving up a little bit because that's just the way it came in the spool. So it's looking pretty good so far. I measured it on a whim and luckily my cuts were pretty good. For this part of the glue up we're going to be using PL300 and this time we got a lot. And we're going to be shooting it with our cock gun so let's do it. Four on workout time. Getting locked and loaded baby. So again, like the foam board to the van, I'm going to try to prioritize the edges. So the PL300 is way easier to squirt out, so Liana's on the job. She's got a good technique, she's making Do little it. baby pretzels. <laughs> that one looks tasty like the yogurt pretzel. You should eat it. No, I won't. Got our light. 
Pine wood is in. It's dark now, but it's all glued down, so we're gonna go grab our weights and put them over to hold it down or weight it down with the glue overnight. And then we should be good. Heck yeah. Subfloor is in. High five. It only took us like probably 30 minutes to do this. Yeah, well, gluing is fast. So you're just doing is going, making little yogurt pretzels everywhere. <laughs> and then just putting the plywood in. I hope someone makes it to this point in our video and actually comments on the yogurt pretzels. If you're watching right now, comment yogurt pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get them on. So it's a couple days later. Time to get all these bricks off and see how our floor, floor turned out. Bailey's excited. Liana's excited. All right, we did it. Our plywood is glued down and in. So I think we're gonna call this the end of our subfloor video. Quite a lengthy process, but we got here. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna continue seeing more videos like these, be sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.